See what some Yoruba groups have sent to Sunday Igboho despite his effort to actualize Oduduwa's republic standing up for the people. Hello, my wonderful people. They said even among 12, just 12, just among 12, that there is a Judah. You know, even Jesus Christ, um, Jesus Christ, when he came and um, he had 12 disciples, among those 12 disciples, there was one that was already a traitor. So much so that that was the one who gave him up. The Yoruba nation and race, most people have been coming up to say that, you know, uh, you know, largely for today, it's been on the ground, but being uh, largely uh, uh, facilitated today as a youth, a Sunday boho. Other people have been facilitating it and have been talking about the Oduduwa's nation. But a particular Yoruba group has sent a message to Sunday boho saying, listen, we are not part of your Duduwa's group, and we don't want Nigeria to break up. We want to remain as one single unit entity, one nation, Nigeria. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Let's understand what is going on. See what some Yoruba group told Sunday Boho, despite his efforts in actualizing uh, Oduduwa's republic, despite all this man is putting to try to get this. We don't support Oduduwa's republic, Yoruba group tells Sunday Igboho. Ladies and gentlemen, it's rather very uh, unprecedented that some group of persons also of Yoruba descent have sent a message to the um, agitator for Duduwa's Republic, Sunday Igboho, uh, the one who is fighting and, you know, making sure that lives and properties in the Southwest are preserved, have told Sunday Igboho that they are not in support of his Duduwa's Republic. Sunday stood firm for his people by giving order to all Fulani headsmen to leave Igbarokbo community or face the law. However, a pan-Yoruba social cultural organization advocacy for Yoruba people's rights said it is not in support of the sectioning of the Yoruba from Nigeria. The group made this statement in a communication jointly signed by its national president and director of media and public publicity Otumba Oladi Ogunsisi issued on Sunday in Ado Ikiti at the end of his monthly meeting. The above name gave, group gave reasons and further condemned the agitation from the activist Sunday Igboho and rejected sectioning and clamoring for the Yoruba race Southwesterners to leave Nigeria that they would rather stay together as one single people and one entity and not in so Sunday Igboho's agitation for breakup of the nation. We want one Nigeria. We are not against Nigeria being one. We are crying that the government finds so solution to ensure that Nigeria is safe for everybody. We have enjoyed a lot from Nigeria and we don't want Nigeria to divide. Dividing Nigeria is not the way forward and we stand against every division of the country. We are not on the same page with Sunday. He is on his own asking for separation from the rest of Nigeria. We are one people and we will not allow Nigeria to be divided in our faces. We will not allow Nigeria to go in that light so this is what is happening this group has sent a message to sunday saying hey brother what are you talking about you are on your own we will not allow you to break us up we have been enjoying as one nigeria and they said the problem is that nigerian government should fix the insecurity i don't have a problem with nigerian government fixing the insecurity of the country fixing the insecurity of the country should be their paramount number one responsibility but where the government is the one aiding the insecurity in the country the government in fact even u.s index Yes, released about uh, less than a month or two ago, said Nigerian government Buhari's administration is greatly characterized by nepotism and favoring a particular ethnic group. That is not Nigerian's index, the U.S. index. Do you understand? So where they feel that some people should not be touched, that's why the fact that this set of people are criminals and they tell you to live with them, this is what happened. This is what goes on and this is why things are the way they are today. This is why people must continue to rise up and speak against insecurity. The whole reason why there is so much agitation today like never before is because of insecurity. 
the whole reason why the country is in this state, why the agitation. For instance, I mean, some group of people have been saying, yes, we need to leave one Nigeria entity, Nigeria thing, but we will not continue to keep quiet and allow that to happen. We will, we will, we will not, uh, we will not, we will not fold our arms. You know, there have been the call for dividing Nigeria, but it's even now stronger. It's, is is worse now than it has ever been before in the history of the country. Why? The reason is largely insecurity. The reason boils down and borders largely on insecurity. People are not happy. Go and investigate. Nigerians are not happy. No, not happy at all with the current state of things. Yet, you see, that's why if you want to do something, eh, you see that power and the force called unity, it, first, it fosters progress. It makes people to do well. But when you have a set of people, yes, who you think you are working with, but they are not on the same line, the same page with you, my brothers, my sisters, I tell you, you might seriously be working on your own. Meanwhile, you think that you've got people behind you who are standing for you. You think you've got uh, bodies who are on the same page and you are fighting the same cause on the same tree, on the same purpose. Please just be wise. Okay, don't allow anybody bamboozle you and just push you aside and just tell you that um, uh, we are doing... No, no, no. Most of them at times are for their own self. Very selfish and, you know, they don't care about what happened to others. And that's why Nigerians, you cannot be silent. No way. We cannot keep quiet and continue to allow this set of people to say uh, they, they are, this is what governs Nigerians because they don't care. Honestly speaking to God, they don't care. You know, these are the set of people who are who are giving Sunday up, who are, are you know, asking Sunday to go for an invitation. When Gamu, Gam, you know that guy who is negotiating with bandits, he knows them. How they did know them, have their phone number, know where they reside. These are people who are adopting people and he will go there and give them the ransom. And you say that there is no cause for alarm. Can you see that something is not right in Nigeria? You see, these are these are supposed to be brothers. These are supposed to be people who should be, um, you know, uh, aiding. I mean, everybody's entitled to the opinion, so you cannot, uh, we cannot uh, generalize it that they must all be on the same page. But just to let you know that there is actually, you know, what we call uh, different opinions, and people, you know, uh, uh, come out in their own way. Why you think that you got people who are standing by you, who will be with you? Some are not thinking the way you are thinking. Beyonce said to the left, to the left, so they are on the left side. Why you are going right? They are always, their mindset, the way they think is always left, you see. So that's, this is what it is. This is what is happening. Uh, this is what uh, the message that I've been sent to Sunday. This is very discouraging when you think you have people by your side. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless and um, keep you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Bye for now.